In this video, I provide an example of how to use one of our favorite plugins, Project Manager. Don't let the name of the plugin confuse you. It doesn't help you create Gantt charts or track to do items or anything like that. Instead, it helps you create and manage custom lists of data that you can include in your WordPress content or theme. We use it often to provide clients a way to edit snippets of content that are too small really to fit in as individual posts or pages. This client wanted to have an area on the right of the home page with three featured items. Each item would have an image, a title, and a brief paragraph of content, all of which link to a specific URL. It could link to a page on their website, to a PDF, or to an external website. Let me switch over to the development environment that doesn't yet have this set up, and I'll walk you through adding this content to the home page. As I mentioned, I'll be using a plugin called Project Manager, which I have already installed and activated. It's in the plugin repository, so just do a search there for the keyword Project Manager, all one word. This will give you a new item in the administrative sidebar labeled Projects. Clicking on that item will give you a list of all your projects as well as a place to add a new one. I'll start by adding a new project called Features. Next I'll edit a couple of quick settings. I usually remove the limit on the number of records per page here. I also like to check this checkbox so that the project will show up as an object in the navigational panel just like pages and posts do. You can choose an icon to display next to that menu item. The plugin comes with a number of good icons. I'll use the users icon for now and I'll show you how to add your own custom icons later. That should be all we need to get started. Let me save these settings here. Changes that plugins make to the administrative sidebar usually require a refresh before they are applied. So I'll click on Projects again, and you can now see the Features item added there with the user's icon next to it. I'll expand that item and click on Form Fields to set up the fields that are available for each feature. Every record will automatically have a name or a title field, which we can use for the heading, but we can add additional fields here. I'll create a field called Description, which is a text field, or a text area that allows multiple lines of text. This will be for the paragraph under the heading. I'll set up a field called link, uh, which is the web address or the URL, which is where uh, the web page where each item uh, will link to. And I'll create an image field that allows uh, the thumbnail image file to be uploaded. Now you'll have to follow the instructions in the readme file for setting up the directory uh, with permissions where the images will go. Once I save this configuration, then I can start adding new items by clicking on the Add Dataset link here under Features. As you can see, a new item has all the fields that we just created. We can specify the values, including uploading the image, and click Add Dataset to save this first item to the database. Let me go ahead and add the second and third items as well. Now here under Features Overview, you can see the three items we just created. Project Manager has a nice drag and drop feature so that you can rearrange items. Quickly, I also want to show you how to add a custom icon for the menu in the sidebar. Project Manager comes with 10 menu icons from the Fugue icon set available at pinvoke.com. But that set also has over 2,000 additional icons you might want to use. Let me switch over to my FTP program and show you how to make additional icons available. Here I am in my theme folder. I can add a folder there called Project Manager. And then add under that another folder called Icons. I'm going to upload this file star.png from the Fugue set, which will make that icon available to be used as a menu icon. So let me switch back over to WordPress and edit the settings for the Features project. And you'll see I can change the icon there 
from our user.png to the new file I just uploaded, star.png. And again, we'll need to refresh the administrative sidebar to get that to appear. And there's the star icon. Now that we've got the administrative interface looking like we want, and we've got the data in the database, let's talk about how to display that data in the theme.